Hi everyone, as you can see my CNC mill has arrived and it's hooked up to power, ready to go. All I need to do is uh, get some fluids and things like that and um, hook it up to the air and I'll be ready to make chips. The machine is a Sail V5. It's got an 8 piece automatic tool changer, a 10k spindle and um, all the drives, uh, all the axis are, are driven by servos. So uh, no skipping like you might get with a stepper motor type configuration. It's got an industrial controller, the Siemens 808D. So uh, that's going to be really good for getting things going. Uh, a bunch of other stuff and I'll do a little tour around the machine and um, you can have a look inside the machine. You can see I've still got to clean off all the um, grease from shipping. There's the table, covered in grease, and in there, that's the automatic tool changer, so it's an eight piece tool changer, uh, each one, that's as many tools as you can have in the, um, the program, there's the coolant spray, so it's all adjustable, and up there there's the button for changing tools um, it's all pretty straightforward the control panel I've gone with is the Siemens 808D and um, yeah it seem, seems to be a pretty good industrial style controller and uh, there's the kind of uh, machine control panel underneath got on the very right the power button for the uh, controller and then the other two red and green ones are um, cycle start and cycle stop. Some more inside features that I forgot to point out. It's got flood coolant there and then also up here we've got some lighting. There you go, some LED lighting on that side and also on that side. So hopefully that's enough, but we'll see how it goes. Behind the machine we've got the power switch and down here we've got the air coming in, the regulator and filter and stuff. We've got the coolant tank and the pump and right in there there's a screen that catches all the chips and stuff. Around this side we've got the automatic oiler and then inside the cupboard that's where we've got the power coming in, we've got the drives for the um, servos and the drive for the spindle, all the little breakers and uh, fans and stuff like that. So I think the layer of the wiring and stuff like that is very clear, everything's really labelled, it's really good. Now that it's hooked up to the power, I can turn it on. There's the uh, hand wheel. You can see there that it's turned off. If we press this button, it'll take a little while, but you should see the screen come on. There we go. All right, so the first thing it's in reference mode, so we just have to do each of the reference locations. Just make sure there's nothing I've left in there. So that's Z, X, and they're all referenced now. So I haven't hooked up the uh, air yet, so I can't do tool changes. Um, and that's why I've got that alarm. So in case you couldn't tell, I'm a little bit excited to get it up and running. I've got Sydney Knife Show coming up, so I'll be making some knives for that. Probably not on this, but uh, hopefully I'll make some parts and uh, take them up to the show so that people can check them out. Um, 
talking about knives for what I will make on this. A few people have asked if I'll be doing the thylacine project on there. Uh, the answer is probably not, um, for a few reasons, but mostly because when I designed that knife, things were, um, I guess, a little bit different. Nowadays, uh, people, I think, you know, we can add to the knife with a lock bar um, stabilizer and lock face, hardened lock face insert, and um, a few things like that. So um, when, the, when I uh, put bearings in it, if I do a flipper, um, I'd like them to be riding against a hardened um, surface um, on the other side of the blade uh, in the handle. So that's another thing um, that is kind of against the thylacine. It wasn't really designed to, uh, to have that. Um, so yeah, if you've got any um, ideas on what would be good to do for a, a knife or even something else, um, then while I'm getting used to the machine, uh, that would be good to, to try out. Um, I, I was um, debating whether I'd do a, um, a fixed blade, like a small fixed blade, um, just so that I can get my feeds and speeds right on the steel and on the handle material um, before I move on to the folders, or whether I jump in and uh, just do it all um, from day uh, one and just uh, kind of get my hands wet and um, with it all and, and just go from there straight into the folders. So I'm of two minds with that. Um, one is I really love folders, so I probably would prefer to do that. So one other thing that I was thinking about was whether I would put my um, current logo, which is my signature, on knives that are made from the CNC. The, um, the idea is that maybe those are just that stamp is reserved for handmade blades and things like um, stuff that comes off the, the CNC, maybe I'll have a different logo. So if you've um, got any thoughts on that, maybe leave them in the comments of the video. And if you um, have any ideas of what would make a good logo, then uh, maybe leave them in the comments of the video too. All right, thanks for watching everyone.